the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, has a new initiative to defend against critical cyber threats. The purpose of the Joint Cyber Defense Collaborative, or JCDC, is to implement a comprehensive plan to address cyber risks. Retired Air Force General Brigadier General Greg Tuhill is director of the CERT division at the Software Engineering Institute. He's the former Federal Chief Information Security Officer. General, welcome to the program. Thank you, Mimi. Great to be with you. What do you think of this new effort to create a JCDC? Well, I think this is a, a welcome addition to our cyber capabilities in the government and serving the nation writ large. You know, as we take a look at the evolution of cybersecurity, trying to make sure that we have well-coordinated activities, both proactive before there's an attack to try to limit our risk, but then what do you do when you do have an attack? You know, how do you mitigate risk and maximize resiliency? This is one of the things that is gonna really help up our game as a nation and bring together government, state, local, tribal, and territorial uh, governments and industry partners to collaboratively work on the plans to help prevent attacks. And then in the event that there is an attack, it'll add uh, velocity and precision in any of our responses. The CISA director, Jen Easterly, has said that this will allow us to be proactive, you just use that word, rather than reactive. That, of course, is the goal when dealing with the possibility of cyber attacks. But how specifically does this allow federal agencies and industry partners to be proactive? Well, uh, I think Jen is absolutely spot on from the standpoint of being proactive. And, you know, this will bring together as part of the planning process in a deliberative manner, the um, making sure that in the plans we are citing best practices such as what organizations like uh, SEI and the CERT uh, provide across uh, government and industry, you know, and also all the different lessons learned. And one of the themes that we've had in DHS uh, for since its inception is if you see something, you should say something. So by bringing this collaborative effort together, we're going to facilitate greater information sharing, better deliberative planning, and more proactive measures to make sure that we are implementing best practices, both in government as well as in the private sector. So then what gaps do you see in the JCDC and what do you think CISA leaders can do to close those gaps? Well, there's with any new nascent program, there's going to be the challenges of setting up the infrastructure, making sure that you get the cadence in, in place. And then further, setting up the formats so that everybody has an understandable methodology of looking at the plans and making them actionable in their different organizations. But there's some really good work that's already been done in the military and military has uh, been doing planning for thousands of years and has uh, kind of put a fine point on it. So I, I anticipate that we're going to see a lot of basic work is going to come around a framework of the deliberate planning process that the military has uh, been working on for many, many years. But then also, there's been some great work in industry on deliberate planning, such as the uh, playbooks in the financial services sector. And I think that that's going to inform this as well. So I think the first major hurdle is putting together the framework on how are we going to do that deliberate planning and what type of formats are we going to use. General, I have to ask, why hasn't there been this effective interagency planning for cyber defense before? Cyber attacks have been with us for a very long time. Well, there's been plenty of opportunities and there's been plenty of uh, starts and stops along the way. But one of the big impediments was the lack of legislative authority for some organization uh, to bring it all together and to take the lead. Um, under the National Defense Authorization Act, we see CISA uh, being labeled as that team that is going to organize and bring this together as an interagency, but also uh, a collaborative effort across industry, bringing it all together, state, local, tribal, territorial governments. And this legislative mandate that uh, has been put out is really the forcing function to get to where we've always wanted to be. So I'm very enthusiastic about it. 
What are your thoughts on how CISA can effectively measure this coordination and collaboration? You know, they can collect cyber data, but how about measuring the results and the impact? I think that's going to be a difficult challenge for them, but I think they're up to the task. And I think as you take a look at uh, doing this type of uh, planning process, you got to start small, think big and scale fast. I don't think uh, they should be focusing on quantity of plans, but rather on the quality of the plans. And then the, the measurement on how good those plans are will be seen through such things as uh, cyber exercises, making sure that we have in fact the plans exercised and uh, things like CyberStorm and some of the other cyber exercises, such as the Hamilton series of cyber exercises with Treasury, all of these come into play. And by measuring the effectiveness of the plans in the exercise process, we'll see refinement along the way. Well, General Tuhill, there's much more to say about this, but we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for being on the program. Thank you very much, Mimi.